today we're going to have a look at um, this driver amplifier from Amplifier Research um, that's got a label on the front that says 80 to 1000 megs but we've got low gain at the, the bottom end. We look at what's at the rear of it and we have one input and four outputs and those four outputs go to a much larger power amplifier that's underneath it and at the moment I'm taking an output from one of those and that output arrives at two large attenuators which give in total 40 dBs of uh, attenuation through a directional coupler through part of the directional coupler um, arrives at a spectrum analyzer and if we look closely at the scope the trace you'll see that it's showing a max hold signal and I've uh, run the input at a constant level from the signal generator and you can see um, quite a lot of a uh, gain variation and it's fairly flat from about 300 megs up to 1 gig but below about 250 megs it's rolling off rather steadily this is the signal generator that we're using which is an Anritsu MTT or MT 8801B radio test set and that's got a maximum output level of minus 3 dBm so there's a, an additional amplifier that I've built up that's fairly flat up to about 1 gig it's rolling off, it's got about a dB of roll off from 100 megs up to 1 gig um, but that's good gain compression up to sort of plus 20 dBm so it's not compressed at all in this uh, in this application but it does mean you can get up to 17 dBm out of a, the radio test set instead of just minus 3. The other pick off from the directional coupler is just running into a vector signal analyzer not one using that at the moment. I've just changed the, uh, the radio test set so that it's a uh, frequency increment is 1 meg instead of 10 megs and then if I just slowly roll the frequency you'll see that the, the trace in the middle of the spectrum analyzer there um, is now showing us a it's now capturing all of the the frequency band rather than just um, every 10 megahertz which it was set to so we're now seeing a better idea of actually the the game flatness rather than it being disguised with quite a lot of noise so I wind it back down carry on reducing the frequency and you can see that we get a, a clearer picture of the gain rolling off rather than it being covered by a, a large amount of noise